What are you doing? I'm getting beautiful. You're always beautiful. Thank you. I realized last night when we got home from the trip that, uh, yeah, I had a souvenir and it was dryness. <laughs> I brought home the entire desert with me. You mean good afternoon. <laughs> What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Shift I guess over a little bit. I can take my headband off since I've washed my face now. Good morning or good afternoon. Hey. We're getting a late jump. We've actually good evening and good been night. up. Um, today is day 32 wow. of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. It is uh, like 12.30 in the afternoon. Now, I actually only slept for about three hours. I was Aww. trying to get the vlog from day 29 and day 30 edited. I may have slept for 15 hours because I felt like I got hit by a bus. I definitely felt like I got hit by a bus. But what happened was I was nervous because uh, we got a phone call while we were uh, at the campsite mm -hmm. from our storage facility for the landscape trailer. And they're like, we're repaving and we need you to move our, your trailer. And I'm like, I am not in Florida. And they're like, well, we need it moved. And I'm like, the best <laughs> I can do is move it for you on Wednesday morning. They're like, well, they're starting at 6 a.m. So oh I gosh. had to be there at like 545, move my trailer across so the street. Sorry. Then I needed a special lock because... You know, we have it inside, so there's only one lock on there, and now it is sitting literally on the street. So let's pray for my trailer, because the trailer with our mowers and everything is, like, sitting exposed in front of their building. And Completely I told vulnerable. them, I am moving it back tonight. They're like, no, we won't be done. I'm like, I am not leaving it outside overnight no. unless you're going to sleep in front of my trailer. You right, know? which I don't think that they are. I don't think they're going to. But... uh I'm excited to be home. Boy, there's nothing better than your own bed. And there was nothing wrong with the, the cot. No, they the were tent. great. I loved it. I now slept the, well. The bed in the hotel, that's another story. That was a little bit springy. It was it was definitely like spring forward. We sat on it and then was like, oh, and you're off the bed. So we didn't say this. The first night I like rolled <laughs> in my bed because sometimes I roll. Yeah. But because of my shoulder hurts a lot of times because I had done something to it. When I roll, I don't just roll because I want to stay in one spot. Otherwise, I pulled all the blankets from Rachel. So it's kind of like a jump and roll. Mm -hmm. And I jumped and rolled and bounced off the bed. I'm like, what are you doing down there? <laughs> I just sorry. realized we don't have the microphone on there. So uh, sorry for the echo on this one. The next clip will be much better. So we're going to start off with some breakfast. Yeah, we're having... Uh, <laughs> Butter, eggs, and bacon. Uh, we got a coffee, tablespoon of butter in there. I gave you a nice big cup because you've gone a couple days without any coffee. Well, I mean, I had one yesterday. In like, the airport. In the airport. It was Burger King coffee. It was Burger King coffee, though, so does that even call, count as coffee? Am I the only person who likes seasoning salt on their eggs? I like seasoning salt on everything. I love it on everything, but it's really good on eggs. So last night after we film the, you know, hey, we're done for the night. We did decide to eat a little bit because yeah. the only thing we had had, we, we had that little bit of breakfast at the campsite and then we had those Burger King burgers, which I'm sorry, they were this. They big. were. It, I'm glad I got three burgers for each of us. Right. Because I was still hungry after we ate them. They were like. And that cost us $30. They were like steak and shake hamburgers. They, I think they were smaller than they that. Were like just. It, like, so, so thin, but it was they, fine. I was thankful for them. Yeah, we had that. So, after we turned off the camera, we said, we're going to eat a little bit. So, we each ate a couple of hot dogs. Mm -hmm. We had, like, the 
all beef hot dogs and a couple of eggs. And uh, that was pretty much what we had. And then we tried to watch a movie for a little while. We got about three quarters of the I way through the movie. I was super impressed with us. Yeah, I was too. I thought we would be out. But I think it's just all of the adrenaline mm -hmm. that just kind of like settles. And mm -hmm. you, you know, you're still kind of running on that. Today, I will be staying very close to the restroom because... I have three days of no pooping. Of, because you're around people. My body completely yeah, shuts down. If you know that you're going to be staying with friends or family or just people, that's not like your your normal who lives in your house. Do you find that you're like, yeah, I'm not going to the bathroom? It's like my 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 entire system shuts down. Like we'll pee because that seems more socially acceptable or whatever. But like, yeah. no, no poop for you, soup Nazi. And even though they were friends, I, I will say one thing. You know what's really nice about vacationing with people from Keto Chow? Mm -hmm. You never have to worry about electrolytes. No. Like, a lot of times when we do these kind of trips, like, we get low on our electrolytes. We forget electrolytes, mm -hmm. especially right now where you don't have your Redmond Relight sticks. And, uh, yeah, so we're loads of magnesium. And I was so thankful for the magnesium. They're the greatest every day of, of our life, but they really... Just think about electrolytes. It's always on their mind. Yeah. I think they're in the perfect state. In Utah, I think with the dryness, like you do need to be thinking about it more. Yeah. We need to think about it more. Yeah. But it was it was such a blessing to always just have that in the water. Now, the curse of traveling with keto chow people when you're on beef, butter, bacon, and egg is there's loads of keto yes. chow pudding. And you can't eat it. Leftover samples, but you samples can't have from that. the trip and from the show. Delicious, but, but... Uh, it, it 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 does really make a good thing for camping mm -hmm. because they had some like leftover samples, jugs of keto chow. So whenever not us, but other people wanted yeah. something to eat, they had the keto chow, and then there were big vats of the pudding, which is nothing more than heavy Super. whipping cream whipped up like to where it's almost butter with keto chow. It was beautiful, and we need to invest in their. Carafes, is that what you call it? That they yeah. store the the liquid keto chow in mm -hmm. because it was plastic. The lid screwed on beautifully, and you could put it right in the cooler. And even as the ice melt, it didn't it didn't hurt the keto chow. Yeah. So we're gonna eat a little bit of breakfast. Um, we gotta unpack. There's that, a lot to unpack. Uh, we gotta do laundry because mm -hmm. normally we go on these trips and we do our laundry while we're gone, and we had no laundry facilities, so. Seven days of laundry in your suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> we'll check in with everybody later. Look what I got. What you got? <gasps> oh, your face, that mask really worked. Your face is like glowing. Oh, it's all shiny. Thank you. Um, How hard is this going to be? I know. I know. I got a 30-day supply of the, what is it called? The buttered, buttered maple. Buttered maple pecan. It is absolutely the best flavor at Keto Brick. When we were in Vegas. You can't have it till November 1st. I was worried that we weren't going to have reception to order them. <laughs> because I knew we'd be driving. And we didn't have reception when they launched. Yeah. So I had emailed Robert I or like text message him. Like, can you hold them for right me? Right now. And we were able to, I went to order them. And right as I went to order them. We were losing reception, and they sold out of the month supply. Two minutes. So I ended up having to buy the two 14-day supply, and I messaged them, but I'm so grateful that I got them because, yeah, they're the best flavors. There's a yeah. link down below. I don't even know if there's any more left. I'm hoping there are. <sighs> they're absolutely – if you like maple pecan or pecan ice cream – that's oh. the flavor. It, it really is like buttered pecans. Aren't you going to chop some up and put it in the creamy when we oh, go back to Keto yes. Chow? Yeah. I, I really want to eat them now. but Salted caramel Keto Chow and these as the add-in. Oh. We have 11 more days. So I have a high school JV game. And it should be pretty interesting. These two teams are usually pretty competitive, uh, but they're usually maldy. So they're they're rivals from like next town to each other. So hopefully nothing goes bad. After I'm done with the game, I gotta go check on my trailer. Hopefully I can put it back into the lot. Otherwise I'm gonna find some place to put it because I don't wanna leave it just in front of the store unlocked all night. After that, I'm gonna go home and I think we're gonna make a bunch of burgers for dinner. I just wanted to say thank you so much much to everyone who prayed for Lois here our little chicken that had the wry neck as you can see she's holding up her head great all of those uh, vitamins really helped she's got a little bit of a crook but if you didn't know she had been so sick 
I don't think you would notice it. So thank you so much. She is doing great. She still kind of avoids the big ones more than um, the other chicks do. I honestly think the more um, that I see her interact with them, I think that they were pecking her in the head because unlike the other chicks, she has a floof of hair that just pops up and I think they didn't like that and were really pecking at her, which is terrible. So as you can see, she kind of hides in the back away from them. So I'm trying to provide more areas where she can just duck in and hide if she needs to because these guys wanna be butts, but that's all right. Looks like she's um, doing well back in the flock though. What do you think, Roscoe? Do you think I should break the news to Tabitha that she needs another bath because she was rolling in a cockroach. She found a cockroach outside and she decided to roll around in cockroach. Aw. Aw, I love when they're sweet to one another. So this is where we take a shower and it's also where Tabitha takes a shower. Tabitha, you ready? You ready for a bath? She's so good about taking a bath. She's got her puppy shampoo up there. You ready to smell clean and be amazing and not have roach guts on you? Let's go. So I'm home for my game. Uh, no incidents. Of course, I went to check on my trailer and they didn't do any work there. So I moved it for no reason this morning at six o'clock. So I put it back and I'll go back over there tomorrow, but I'm not going there at six o'clock. I'm gonna go there at a normal hour because that was a waste of my time, especially when you didn't do anything. Let's go check on Rachel. Hey, baby. Hey. What are you doing? I am in Clubhouse. I'm in Keto for the Soul. This is Judith's room. There is a uh, check-in, a nightly check-in, Monday through Thursday. I think it starts at seven. seven. And it's great, so if you just want accountability where they check in every single night. This is just such a great platform and Judith is amazing. She's actually going to be doing a keto Friendsgiving in Memphis. So you definitely want to check it out. How was your game? Uh, the game was surprisingly good. Ooh, this looks good. Because it was two teams who are like right down the street from each other. And uh, I was anticipating some issues, but there were actually no issues. I love no issues. Except for I freaked out a little bit because with like one minute to go in the game, the one team tied it up. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> that means there's overtime. Right. But they did get the extra point. And uh, so, yeah, I was, I was pretty excited about that. <laughs> well... While you were at the game, I was in Clubhouse. Okay. I also bathed the dog. You sent me a bunch of pictures from Mommy's house. And bathed me, yes. I visited my mom today and she has been working on decorating her bathroom. I really believe that she should curate a museum because She's really good at she is decorating. so fun at just putting pretty things together. She loves like Victorian look. Mm -hmm. Um, she just added new knobs to her, um, like the cabinets in her bathroom, but I don't know. It's just so fun. I'm so proud of her. She's amazing. Okay. So we're actually eating our food and still not telling what we're eating. Oh, <laughs> how do we manage these things? I don't know. So here's what we got. We basically came home from camping and eating burgers and eggs to eating burgers and eggs. Works for me. Well, I didn't have anything defrosted. I forget. So now I got like a roast defrosting and some other ground beef defrosting. So we always keep in the house those uh, third pound hamburgers from Sam's Club, you know, where you get the whole sleeve. It's so smart to get those because they thaw out really they well. They thaw real quick and you can cook them frozen. So uh, we're each eating three of those. So that's a pound. And then uh, two eggs and a little bit of our bacon um, all the hamburgers and the bacon is cooked on the Blackstone outside. I actually use that, uh, flat, the flat thing, the mm. cast iron bacon press. Right. To, uh, not get the burnt edges. Cause a lot of times with our bacon, uh, the edges get burnt, but the inside doesn't. Uh -huh. So it actually came out, look at this, came out perfect. Perfect. These, these 
burgers are actually really juicy and the only thing that i usually think that is like a drawback on those burgers is sometimes if you overcook them you know it now you gotta under you gotta cook them just right yeah and then i seasoned the burgers with the redmond organic <laughs> uh, garlic pepper mm -hmm. and then we're having a couple of eggs yum and you're doing really good on your eggs i'm sorry that like i was too, giving all the late. credit to steve I, it came out he did cook some mean eggs though he did, but you said you prefer somebody else's eggs. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay, I accept your apology. So, yeah. Um, now, tomorrow... So, oh, I got to tell you. So, yeah. I go over to check on the trailer after the game because it's right down the street. Mm -hmm. They did nothing. They didn't get the floor done? They didn't do anything. They did absolutely nothing. So, I took my trailer. I put it right back in my Thanks spot. Thanks so much for getting me up at 545. And how about not going to sleep because I knew I had to go move the trailer. So um, I put it, and then they put somebody next to me that now I can't park. So now mm -hmm. I got to go over there tomorrow and I'll have to move the trailer again. again. But we need to go out tomorrow anyway with the trailer. And then go in and say like, hey, you put someone next to me who's really long and now I can't make the swing. I mean, you've given me four price increases in two years, which is insane. It's so frustrating, but our... Our trailer is too big to park in our home. You mm -hmm. can't park it in your driveway. Right. And you have to be so choosy about where you park stuff because you can get robbed, like, fairly easily. Plus, uh, you need to go to a place that's going to protect you. I mean, we've been hit, like, five times. Yeah. So I mean, the neighbors not, hit us. Not robbed, like... No, actually they hit back the into the trailer because they hire guys for their company like the owner is not driving himself so the employees don't care and they back into my trailer and it's not like a landscaping trailer needs to look pretty it sort of needs to look pretty but it has to open and close yeah and it also has to not have holes in it and let critters in yeah and, or rain. and rain and everything else yeah so you have to be really choosy and there's not a lot of places left to store anymore. I took so many electrolytes today. Yeah. I think that I took the desert home with me. Do we have any TMI that did it all come out now? It's 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 still going. It's it's been a day of like fleshing out my system, but I'm feeling better now than I did this morning. I felt like I just need electrolytes. Mm -hmm. I just knew I did. So really thankful I have them. And I've been taking them all day long. Just drinking them, squirting my water, squirting my water all day long. Yeah. You know, I think that whenever we travel, our electrolytes get depleted, especially on the plane and up and down. I always kind of feel weird after yeah. a flight. And it's not just like traveling West Coast to East Coast or East Coast to West Coast. I get the same thing if I were to fly to New York or just like local. Well, I mean. I think it's the atmosphere thing for me. Well, and also we were sitting in the same position for like eight hours. We yeah. were first in a car and then on a plane. And I think, you know, that's just a lot on your body. You don't think it's taking such a toll on your body, but it, it really does not being able to move around. Mm -hmm. So um, getting limber again today and yep. getting some movement in, I think was really important. And then also just making sure we get those electrolytes and also drinking a lot of water because we were out having fun right and we weren't drinking as much as we needed to. i didn't drink nearly as much as no. i normally drink because again we were you know having you're fun. camping so we're number one we're having fun and number two like you know you are kind of on a water restriction you know because you've got seven people there you don't want to over we've drink got, like this um, certain size cooler and that's what we have here and right. i don't want to be the person be like Oh, I normally drink about a gallon and a half of water a day. I'm going to eat all your water. So, it, you know, it's just what you need to do. So, yeah, I was definitely a little dehydrated both on water and electrolytes. Uh, but overall, I feel really good. I mean, I'm excited to be back home, get back to grilling. We're going to do a roast. Uh, I'm thinking about going and seeing how I have a brisket. Marrow that we bone. can uh, dethaw. Marrow and, bone. Oh, you want a marrow bone? We I gotta do. go. We have to go to Whole Foods for that. I don't know of anybody else around. The only other place that might have it around here that I know about would be that uh, Wild Fork. So we can go check them out yeah. as well. But don't forget, we're also going camping next week to the Keys. Just, I'm just very for two excited. nights. Well, we booked it and paid for it a long time ago, so we're just going to do a quick getaway. But Which that's I only recommend. an hour and 45-minute drive for us, and I, we go in Eleanor, so. I definitely recommend scheduling those trips, even camping. Like, mm -hmm. even if you're tent camping, right. like, schedule those trips when things are available because you can always talk yourself out of 
relaxing. You right. can always talk yourself out of getting away for a day or two, but thankfully, you know, you can take a lot of work on the road with you right? and, and just get some fresh air. And I think it's good because once we have it booked, it's kind of non-negotiable. Like right. you're doing it. Well, cause we lose like 30 bucks if we, you, you lose the first night. $30 is all you need to tell me. $30 <laughs> is more than enough. Cause I think about like what I can do with $30. Right. I could buy a whole outfit and shoes and do my hair for $30. So I have seen a bunch of comments from people that are joining us on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Welcome. So welcome. Uh, don't worry, we've got another, what, how many more days? 11 more days of this, or I guess 10 more days after Till November today. 1st. Till November, October 31st. Right. Well, I mean, November 1st is when we'll be back eating regularly. Right. And again, most of our food is going to continue to be this. We're just going to add a couple of other things in there. Yeah. We're, we want to work on some keto chow recipes. Uh, we've obviously got some products we want to review. Mm -hmm. So all that is kind of on the back burner. So don't worry. Reviews are coming back. Oh, I did want to mention some people are watching. We're starting to post the Keto Palooza vlogs. Yes. yes, we're behind, but we were trying to do beef, butter, bacon, and egg, and we had other videos, so we're trying to get caught up with those. So all of these videos, if you see the title Keto Palooza, they were all shot before we started beef, butter, bacon, and egg. So we're not cheating on no. beef, butter, bacon, and egg. But I think it's interesting to see us because... That was only we like look different. that was only like a month ago. Right. So I mean, take a look at us. If people are like, "Well, does it work? Does the beef, butter, bacon, and eggs challenge is it doing anything?" It's good to for you guys to be the judge. Yeah. And, and see if you're seeing any difference in us. I will say this. So I'm going to tell you, if you want to do beef, butter, and bacon, and eggs, especially if you're looking for body recomposition or if you're looking for a reset, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but seven days ain't going to cut it. No. It's just not going to cut it. I mean, you really need 14 days and you really need at least a month, which is why we had chosen 25 days and then extended it a week and even two weeks. It's not going to cut it. You got to get all the garbage out. And if you want to see some results, you're not going to see results in seven days, especially no. visual results. Like I didn't see any difference. Now, some people said they did, but for me, I didn't, I didn't notice any days. results until at least two weeks in. Yeah. I was about 14 days. And then also we get a lot of um, questions that are like, can I do beef, butter, bacon, eggs, and whatever, add the ingredient You're an adult. There. You can do what you want, but it's not going to be the same thing. It's not going to be. I cannot say that if you're like, Hey, my thing is cheese or my thing is whipping cream, or, you know, I'm going to do keto chow or I'm like, you can do whatever works for you. And we love you. That's not like, well, in order to be friends with, with these two crazy ketos, we have to do things that the exact way that right. they're doing them. No, do keto your way. We're a huge advocate of that. But as far as like, you know, sometimes when people say, hey, that's what your bacon looks like when it's cooked in on, you know, on this stove. What about if I, you know, cook it on a campfire? Like, I don't know if it's going to come out the same right. as it is the way we're doing it. I can only show you the way we're doing it. And those are the four ingredients we're using. Yeah. I mean, again, those are the four ingredients that Dr. Barry picked. He picked them for a reason. Actually, bacon... He kind of threw in there. He yeah. said, if you don't want to have bacon, you don't have fine. to. Beef, any ruminant animal. But what I would say is if you have beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, and you don't want something on there, that's fine. I wouldn't substitute. Yeah. Like I wouldn't substitute, hey, I don't want to eat eggs, so I'm going to eat cheese. There's a huge difference between eggs and cheese yeah. or bacon and cheese. What is it? Number one, cheese has carbs in it. Cheese is dairy. It's got lactose in it. All of those things can affect you. When you look at beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, number one, they're things that we don't overeat for the most part. Right. It's going to be very difficult to overeat it. But, you know, he did say that, like, bacon, you know, pork isn't the greatest food. If you're just doing carnivore, pork is fine. Right. But he said the best animal to eat is actually any ruminant animal because of their stomachs and the way they digest food and stuff. So if you don't like bacon... Don't eat bacon. Right. If you don't like eggs, don't just eat it. eggs. Just leave them But off. I wouldn't substitute. And again, now you can do whatever you want. Yeah. But I'm just telling you, based on our conversations that we've had with Dr. Barry and why he chose these things and what their health benefits are, I wouldn't add other things in. For example, he said chicken, very lean, very high in omega-6, can cause inflammation. So probably want to keep that one out. 
if you're trying to do a reset. Yeah. Well, that's going to be the end of today's vlog. Let us know down in the comment section how you're doing. Uh, by tomorrow, we should be completely caught up on all our vlogs. High five. Back. I'm pretty excited about that. Actually, we were supposed to be caught up today, but... While I was at the game, Rachel said that I had a little mistake in my editing. Yeah, and, uh, it's okay. Uh, we don't want to put that up super late, so we're going to put that one up first thing in the morning. This one will go up tomorrow afternoon, and then we'll be back to catching up. We have the Keto Crate video and a couple other ones, and then we will be back to everything hunky-dory. I so love it. By Friday, everything is back on track. Back in business. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.